Jeff from Two Hacks Garage. Well, as you've seen, it's been extremely busy working on all kinds of various projects. My 68 Ford Thunderbird, a little bit of Kyle 68 GTO, Eddie's 1972 Chevelle, Tide Z28, you name it, we're doing it, we're busy, we're making a lot of headway. It's getting to be cruising season, it's getting ready to be getting all those hot rods out and really have some fun. In fact, I got the door open here at Jimmy's shop because it's such a nice day. Well, a couple weeks ago, I did do a video on starting the assembly on a 1970 Chevy LT1 small block. It's 350 cubic inches from the factory, but this one's 355 cubic inches. Now, this engine here is using the stock TRW high dome pistons, the stock pink rod, the forged nitrated steel crank, all those great internals from the factory. We already got it all put together from on the bottom end. We showed that and it was actually went together pretty well. Well, last couple weeks, I've been really busy. Jimmy's been really busy. He went ahead and assembled the cylinder heads and got them in. So I'm not gonna be showing that part in the video. Um, basically we did, he used the stainless valves. He used the Urson springs that match the Urson roller cam that's going in this guide plates from AFR and we got competition push rods to go on that along with Morel solid race lifters. Um, I also did do a little bit of work on these cylinder heads. I cleaned up the bulls a little bit, did some gasket matching and opened some things up. I will show some pictures on that. So while the cylinder heads are on, we didn't show any of that, but it does complete if you want to call it that short block. So the next step on this is what we're going to do is we're going to complete putting this engine together so we can get it on the test stand and down the road we can get it fired up, make a whole lot of noise. So this bad boy, 1970 LT1 small block, can go in a 1970 Camaro for one of Jimmy's friends. It's going to be a really rowdy car. I believe it's going to get something about this tall with two carburetors and something goes spray. Yep, this thing's going to be a bad bitch. See you soon.
We're going to call that a wrap for a day. Actually a very successful day. So we started off, put the push rods in, we put the rockers in, got those adjusted, got them correctly adjusted for the lash on this per the specs from Urson. Um, this is a solid roller lifter cam. So we're going to go back in after we run it and we'll readjust them again. Um, then from there, you know what, we put the intake on. And if you notice, we did something different than when we sealed this. Um, Jimmy and I have learned quite a bit with the run stand that we built of having to take intakes on and off for doing different things when we work on these engines. So we didn't quote unquote permanently seal it. Um, so from there, what did we do? Well, you see it, we put on these valve covers, which these are not Larry's valve covers, the guy who owns this engine. Uh, these are actually off of one of Jimmy's nitro dragsters. Uh, they do clean up well, look nice when they're all polished, but they got these cool old whiz aluminum breathers that would go to tubes into the chassis. Um, on top of that, we threw on a carburetor. Um, this is our run stand stuff. We have gone through multiple times and you're taking stuff on and off. Uh, so what we decided to do is just kind of piece together different parts we would need to make something run. So this is uh, gonna stay with our run stand. It's electric water pump. It makes the hookup a whole lot easier to our run stand. Uh, this is a Edelbrock carburetor. Um, this is not going to be what's going to be on the car initially to run it around. He's got a holly for it, and then it's getting a tunnel ram. This is Jimmy and I's thanks to Eddie, who we just did that sniper kit for on that 72 Chevelle. This came off of it, and he donated it to us, along with an HEI super coil distributor. So we'll go ahead and use all those pieces that we've acquired to be able to use this on a run stand, take them off easily. We know it all works. If we got to do any adjustments. It's going to make life a whole lot easier. So as we progress with this run stand, we've realized, oh, we might want to have some of these different items to make it run if people don't have it at the time or if we're waiting on parts. And in some cases, someone might bring you a carburetor that's total junk, and that's not good when you go to break in an engine. So this is where we're at with this, guys. I'm waiting on a flex plate, a water neck uh, for this, a couple bolts, and you know what? The next time you see this, Jimmy and I are going to put this on the run stand, get it all hooked up, and we're going to fire this up to see what it actually sounds like. Um, oh, real quick, if you notice in videos when we do run stuff on a run stand, we do have headers with a muffler, just kind of like a thrush glass pack style on there. Well, out of all the different stuff I've bought and or friends have had, I do have an extra set of exhaust cutouts. So we're gonna weld those in there. So not only are we gonna be able to tell, just for a fun factor, because I like loud, um, when we fire these up, it's always decently mild, has a good tone, but we're going to be able to uncork them, see what these things really sound like. With that, guys, I got to get cleaned up. I got a whole bunch of stuff going on tonight. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is part two of assembling that 1970 LT1 small block that's going in Larry's 1970 Camaro. See you next time.